What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today's video, I wanted to talk about the best MIDI controllers that you could use for making beats uh, with Logic Pro 10, okay? So check this out. First of all, we're gonna actually go to Google, all right? I'm just gonna go on here and we're gonna search up some MIDI controllers. I'm gonna start with the MIDI controller that I use. I'm using a MIDI controller from M Audio. And so we'll just type that in here, M Audio. And it's the uh, Key Station 49 ES, okay? Uh, let me find the exact one, ES, boom. So this is the keyboard that I actually use. I actually got it from Guitar Center. Um, it's a pretty dope keyboard, okay? It's real basic, no bells and whistles, but you do have enough keys to where you could actually play a couple of octaves up here. And so if you want to, you can actually come in here and actually play these, you know, real elaborate chords and different things like that. They got the wheel right here for pitch. You know, you have volume here um, and a couple other buttons right here where we can do octaves. So push this up an octave or down an octave. Um, there's a lot of other things you can do with this, but this is a real simple MIDI keyboard that you can use. All I did is just plug it right into my MacBook and literally I can use it to control different things uh, with Logic. So say if I wanted to just, uh, open up a new software instrument track, let's say a default patch, come over here. So that's uh, the keyboard that I personally use, but uh, let's talk about a couple of others. Um, I actually like the mini uh, AK, uh, yeah, MPK. I have this one as well. This is a good one for travel. Uh, so I have this one. This is like the uh, inverted one. Let's kind of take a little quick view. It's only 90 bucks. Like the other one, it was uh, 89. So like literally, you can get started with a keyboard for just about a hundred bucks, but I have this one right here. Um, this is like if I'm on the go, so you know, what I mean, um, you can't do a whole lot of crazy chords and progressions and flow, you know, go up the scale or not. But like as far as just making beats or using these drum pads or even just using the keys to play, this is a great keyboard for this. Okay, you know, only a hundred bucks, and you know, you carry this along. I travel with this actually and get things done. So there's a lot of different variations of this keyboard. You can actually program the drum, the uh, the pads as well. Um, but you know, this, this is a pretty dope keyboard. I like it. You can get it used anywhere from 79 all the way or 80 basically to 100 and some sometimes even cheaper, okay? But the main thing I wanna uh, point out here when you look at MIDI keyboards is more so just to Keep in mind why you need it, okay? If you're not like a crazy piano player, like if you don't have a whole lot of uh, skills on actually playing the piano, you know, starting off with this uh, little mini uh, MPK might be the best option for you. Um, outside of that, man, you know, those are the two that I've used. You can use any anyone. I'm not gonna over endorse these, but I just wanted to share that information with you. The top, the two types that I use, and pretty much what you'd be looking for. If you want like something again that uh, you can play up the scale, you can run your chords here, practice the piano. Then this uh, Key Station is a great starter keyboard, and as you can see, it's only eighty nine dollars. If you want something to travel with, this is a great keyboard to go with. You can go with this red one, you can go with this black and white one like I got, or the you know the, the original. Um, but yeah, y'all, let me know in the comments if you want to know anything else. Um, again, these keyboards are pretty simple. Literally, they're gonna come with a little cord right here, and you just plug it into your keyboard. And if you have like one of the newer versions of uh, of uh, you know was this an Apple MacBook, yeah, MacBook Pro or whatever, you might have to get an extension, like a little, an adapter to plug the USB uh, port up to. But outside of that, man, you know, you just plug and go. Um, you can go with any brand you want for the most part, because it's really, all this is doing is this um, literally controlling what's on here. 
if you're going to be using this as a MIDI controller, you know what I mean? I wouldn't go and spin this or whatever. I would only use these type of things if you're actually going to uh, use some of the sounds in here. If you're going to go crazy with like importing uh, sounds and using the pads, I don't see the necessity of it. But I mean, some people really are good with using the pads and, you know, doing it like that. So just do things based on what you want to accomplish. You know what I mean? This is a cool one if you want to spend extra money on it. It has a lot of dobs and everything. But honestly, when I'm using these, I'm just using the black and white keys, to be honest with you. I'm not really going in here and doing anything else outside of maybe using the pitch wheel, okay, over here. So you can use any of these, and you should be able to get the job done with only about $100. Um, anything else is just going to be extra bonuses that you don't necessarily need. Okay. Um, so anyway, yeah, make sure that y'all go to my site, beatmakingbasics.com. If you all want uh, some more information about how to make beats, I have some beginner level courses there that you can grab and they're going to walk you through uh, the whole get up of all of this, you know, how to build your own studio, what equipment you need, the fundamentals of music production, different things of that nature. I have other courses that cover music theory. I have courses that cover mixing and courses that cover how to make beats in Logic Pro 10 start to finish. This is where we're going over how to make beats in, uh, you know, different genres like hip hop, R&B, trap. Um, how to make music for TV and film, all in one course, okay? Go to the site, check it out. We got uh, loop packs there as well um, and a drum kit. And we have a special bonus offer. Like if you really love the content, you can get everything on the whole site for a real low price too. So all you have to do to get to that is just click on one of the products on the site and then just scroll down. So read through the product or whatever and just scroll down and you'll see a special offer where you can get everything on the site for just a low price, man. So that's a great way to save. Um, I'm also doing one-on-one. -on -one. So like if you all want questions uh, answered on a personal level where you can ask questions and I answer right away, different things of that nature, book a one-on-one -on -one with me. All the links are in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you get subscribed and I'll see you in the next video. We're out.